having issues connecting to your Kindle store? Well, worry not, for I'm here to help you out. I have carefully curated this video so that I can help you with your Kindle store issue in the simplest way possible. So, welcome to Bling Bling. Let's get started. We Kindle users often keep our devices disconnected from the internet to save up even more on our precious week-long batteries. So, if you're someone like me, it's highly possible that we still have our airplane mode turned on. To turn off airplane mode on your Kindle, swipe down from the Kindle to access your quick settings. Then toggle the airplane mode option off. Now that your Kindle is no longer in airplane mode, it will start searching for nearby Wi-Fi connections. If you still don't get automatically connected to your bad Wi-Fi, you can manually connect to one by swiping down on the quick settings panel again and tapping on the settings gear icon on top. Then tap on wireless and tap on Wi-Fi networks to connect to your Wi-Fi manually. If you are already connected and still can't access your Kindle store, then you'll need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is working properly. For that, connect your phone or laptop to the same Wi-Fi that you're using to connect to your Kindle and check if your internet is working properly. If your internet is down, then contact your internet service provider and get your connection checked. If your Kindle rarely connects to the internet, then it's highly possible that its firmware is outdated. Contrary to how we ensure that you stay connected to everything smart home tech. So subscribe to show your love. Outdated firmwares on Kindles are usually the cause of basic issues, including connectivity problems to the Kindle store. So make sure that your Kindle is updated to its latest available firmware. Your Kindle automatically initiates the update process when it connects to a stable internet connection. So make sure that you keep your Kindle connected to the internet for about an hour or two to ensure that your Kindle catches up on its latest available firmware. If you're already on the latest available firmware and still can't access your Kindle store, then it's possible that you might be running an older Kindle that Amazon has dropped support for. As of making this video, Amazon only supports Kindle devices Gen 5 and later, and this tally will only increase as the years go by. So, if you're running outdated hardware, side loading might be your only option. If the steps that I've mentioned so far didn't work for you, then you might need to perform a factory reset on your Kindle. This will wipe out all your data from your Kindle. So make sure that you back up your Kindle, especially your on-device side-loaded content. The books that you purchased from your Kindle store should be safe in the Kindle cloud. So you should be able to download them back once you register with the same Amazon account after your factory reset. To reset your Kindle to its factory defaults, go to the settings page by swiping down on your Kindle screen and tapping on the settings gear icon. Then tap on device options and select reset. Kindle should give you a warning page asking you to reconfirm your decision. Tap on yes to initiate the process. Your Kindle store should be working properly now. If you're still facing issues with the Kindle store, do comment down below and I'll be sure to help you out. Support us by giving a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.